I keep getting more and more save files as I go. Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Genius of Sephiros. Here, it is time to hopefully take out all of the character specific missions because, yeah, I'm, I'm going to attempt. No promises. I really hope I can do it though. Starting out with Moku. I also have the treasure chest listed, so I remembered, which is good. Time to go to Mwenzuka. Now, the important thing to have here is Cherno. That, that's all, just Cherno. Okay, this is section A, which means one treasure chest. What's down here, though? Let's find out. F. That's not where I'm supposed to be. So how about we go to B instead? I'm gonna run into encounter sometime, but it's an ally lingering or something like that. Exactly like I said, actually. Yes, exactly. Tengu support aging drizzle for one hit KOs. Always a fun time. Still gonna find that treasure, oh man. Nitori leveled up, and I keep one hit KOing everything because aging drizzle Tengu support is really overpowered. So, yeah, this is area B, but I don't get it from coming in from that side, so I'm gonna have to end up going the other way. Wait, I got an earth shard. That's right, I got an earth shard. Healing. I'm sure I was saying something important, but I don't remember what I was saying. There's a rock, all in area C. There's one in area B and one in area D left. And is this the right way? The right area D. It could be. No, it could D. And there's that. Uh, I found the thing. I have to go from the top. That, that was the shortest speed up I have ever had. That's all in area D. Only one more treasure chest left and it's in area B. The one that's down there. Uh, I was supposed to go from the top. Turns out I was supposed to go from the top the entire time. One more treasure chest and it's in area B. Only in area B though. Which is this way downwards and up. I was going to say something was appalling, but I don't remember what it was. Hey, it's the treasure chest. That's the fourth Kuna. If you don't like that I am looking up the treasure chest locations, well, that's unfortunate. Chirno is unbelievably strong. Just thought I'd let you know. Uh, I should go back and heal, but I'll find out where the, the Mokunator is. That's what people call her nowadays, right? Um, oh, hey, what is this thing? I think the answer is obvious, it's a catfish. I think it's weak to electric. I say I think it is because I'm not really all too sure. But, it doesn't matter if I'm sure or not, because I just have to use it and hope that I'm right. Because really, you don't even have to try, I guess. Just do that, Rage 8, try and poison, and see if you can freeze it. Because if you can free- stupid removal, literally the worst. Yeah, it's weak to- it's weak to electric, that's neat. It's also almost dead, but so is Remu, so that's bad. Yeah, this should take it out. Just gotta do that, and I. But Aya gets no experience. Oh man. But Chirno gets double. Neat. Second, I don't need to. In theory, because if I do it correctly, I'll find her eventually. If I do it correctly, I shouldn't take a hit anyways. Uh. 
One moment. I forgot to change formation last time. That was the problem, and I forgot to give something to Reimu. So, and I also healed this time, so that should change a bit too. So, she is indeed not weak to fire. I guess she doesn't have a weakness? Peerless Wing God. I guess her weakness is freeze because you can inflict it. I don't exactly know the chance of inflicting it because. Yeah. But I inflicted it and Chirno recovers 2 MP back every time she freezes something. So that's really good. Let's use Kappa's Multi Chaser. Get a few extra attacks in. Including that. Because she also has Slayer against Moku, who is. Warrior. 8 hits. Icicle attack. Didn't freeze. That's not good. Oh. Good thing that he, she decided to target Aya because Aya. Aya is her own reason. I guess I'll see if I can poison her again. Nope. Pegasus Meteor Attack. Nine hits. That would have been nice when I was... Why am I not getting the freeze? She is really susceptible to freeze, but it's not working. But Aya is dodging things like a boss, man. How is she doing it? The answer is like a boss. Two turns of Unwater. Kappa's Chaser. The funny thing about chasers is they work for a lot of weird things. So, I'm going to use Report. And the chaser works on Report. It's pretty hilarious. Three hits, man. Icicle attack. Didn't freeze, man. My luck is horrible right now. It shouldn't be this difficult to inflict freeze, but as you can see, I am still doing quite a bit of damage, even without freeze. Venom, I guess she is really weak to poison. Five hits. Freeze, finally. Hyper Amulet, and 150. She's almost dead, so... Just gotta deal as much damage as possible. Starting with Rage 8, actually. You know what, just to make sure I start with it, I'm gonna start with Rage 8. She didn't die, but I started with Rage 8, man. And there we go. That's how you beat Moku. So, it didn't go as horribly as I expected it to. But it also didn't go as well as I expected it to. Yeah, that's that's what I meant to say. Okay. I had to think about that for a second. She's awakened. Oh man, pay it no mind. There is no mind. What is a mind? She's unsure. Dark urges. She was tricked. The cause is unknown because... That's how possession works. Well, I don't know if it's really possession as much as urging her to commit suicide, which, well, since she's immortal, there's a bit of a problem with that. So, the next thing we are doing is... Hmm. No, I won't do that. I'm going to get Raisin. As you can see, the reward is Raisin. They are in the core of a and which is the center. As if that wasn't obvious. I don't know exactly how to beat them, so this could be good or it could be bad. I don't really know. And here we are, just gotta step into this portal. And the heart of Ante. Let's see how this works after I heal because I switched equipment around and formation. 
I forgot to do that, but it's just right here, so no big deal. It's all good. This is area L. That's not where I need to be. Area J, also not where I need to be. Ah. An enemy like this is not something you see every day. It's kind of terrifying looking. Fire chaser. Might as well aging drizzle and report. And that should do it. Yay. Enemy reported. Wind of swords. Not even necessary. Like I said, Fujiyama Volcano wasn't even necessary. And that's how you beat that encounter. Hey, okay. let's see if I can find the stuff. This is area J still, not the right area. This is area K. You know what? I'll cut back to when I find either a treasure chest or the bosses. Now. Nitori leveled up. Maybe if I go in from up here. Yes, area F right here. You know, Tori Feather, back to cutting. And here, two treasure chests. Rusty Blade and Ostracon. Both are nice. Going to find the last treasure chest. And in it, there is iron. Now to find the bosses. One moment, thank god. And... Actually, one moment, I forgot something. Okay, here we go again. Zufu's Dimension. Elemental Bullet Fire. Pegasus Meteor Attack. Aaron. Peerless Wing God. And Wind of Protection to raise resistance. I forgot to put that in. Good thing I figured that out, otherwise, who knows? Wow, way to hit Raisin more times than you hit Aaron when I was aiming at Aaron. You're not good at this, are you, Luthos? And that's why I needed the elemental... Well, not the elemental bullet fire. The wind of protection. This is now a fire element. So... Let's try this out. Poison bee. And... I would heal her, but the odds of her getting attack are actually pretty good, now that I think about it. She is a warrior, so Slayer against her exists. Wow. You did it, congrats. You did it. It's just, what do I say about that? Very nice. I hit more times than I thought I would. To be quite honest. Fujiyama Volcano on Aaron. And... I'll use Atomic Kappa, it's super strong. Pegasus Meteor Attack. Basically, I'm going to be doing this the entire fight. Lucky Omikuji as well, because healing is a pretty important thing. She hits with all of them. Only dealing... <laughs> okay, yeah. As you can see, Nitori is pretty much destroying this boss. Moku is helping quite a bit too. The reason they're not really doing anything at all to Moku is because of the accessories I gave her. Kappa's multi-chaser first. This does literally 777 damage two bosses, so don't even. It's just not worth it. Once again, Tengu's Fall Wind. And... Really, what can you do? Actually, no, not Tengu's Fall Wind. I don't need that, because I'm about to raise accuracy. Because it's necessary, obviously. So, as you can see, that hit one time. Lethos, you are failing me for the last time. You're fired. That's not good. Really not good. 
However, I am lucky enough to where I didn't use my last word. There's a reason I didn't use my last word, and that is the reason. I needed everyone alive. There we go. All fixed. And that should take out Aaron. Good. I was hoping it would take out Grayson as well, but... You know, Lethos is kind of a jerk. She didn't really do much right in this fight, if you want to think about it honestly. She didn't really do much to help, did she? Pegasus Meteor Attack. Two turns of Ally Head Start still, so... Yeah. Uh, should I heal Lethos? Nah, let's win the protection. This couldn't possibly come back to bite me in the butt. Lethos, please! You have got to quit being bad. Disorder, I... Yeah. She gets... Moku gets healed while in Fireland, so... Oh. So the fact that the Fireland is up and... I have Zufu's Dimension, which gives you a health regeneration, means that she recovers a lot more than she should. I win. Checkmate. And we leveled up as well. Which is pretty awesome. So I've gotten all the treasure chests in this area and in Wenzuka. Ugh, the ceiling is spinning. Could have held back. No. No, we couldn't, because Moku had to revive everyone. Yes, it is an incident, and the situation is getting worse, and the aura is mine. Exposed, the fodder of the death. But yeah, I am stealing Raisin. And by that, I mean just kind of allowing her to join. Now, the good thing is she uses a stab weapon. Yeah, I joined forces with Grayson. It's pretty great. I got narcolepsy. Oh, right. For solving incidents, you also get stuff. So, powerful spirit, Gohei. Basically, I'm getting a lot of good weapons and... Um, and, 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 um, armor. Okay, that's enough of that. Ugh. Okay, there's more. Flame robe, aqua robe, and stuff. That's all. Basically, I don't need to look at that. I say basically a lot, by the way. Going to Korindo because I get to show you that I actually have her specific material for her stuff. So let's get that. No, let's not. Let's get that. It's probably better this way. It can inflict berserk. And there we go. Let us go back to the incident board. Okay, so which one do I want to go to next? Uh, I really want to get Yomu, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Uh, should I go for Yomu? No, I will wait actually, because I know why I will wait. I could go for Marissa and Alice, but that seems dangerous because they're kind of dangerous. The Great Library. Yeah, I'll go for Sakuya and Patchouli. So I'll be going there. I should show this, I guess. You'll see that she has powerful stuff. Exactly. Look at all this stuff. She gets Slayer against a lot of things. You'll understand what I mean when I actually have enough anything to use her. Unnecessary cut. What with me being like, I don't know, 10 steps from the spot. This is area A. 
which has a treasure. It also has encounters, but there's the treasure instead. Whatever. Are you not excited about this? That was so important to show off. Wind of Miracles is really good, and I just got 26 levels for reason. I forgot that she was level 1. Actually, one of those was the boss. But this is Area B, and it has one treasure, so I don't care. Where is the treasure? Preemptive. Right. Uh, so, the thing about Grayson is her commander skill makes it to where you sometimes get preemptive attacks on the enemies. So, this time we get the upper hand. Suck it. And level 36. As you can see, she is growing levels fast. There's that. Now for Area C. Area C, the area where the nameless stage 4 boss was. There are two in here. Uh, one was right there, and the other is right there. Now I'll meet you back at the first area so I can challenge the boss. This whole guess and check thing was annoying, but I found the boss! His, I guess. Reduces accuracy of all enemies, increases slayer effects for all allies. Now, the good thing about this is Sakuya is a warrior. Nitori gets slayer against warriors. So, this has one cooldown, but one of my skills makes it to where if I have that any fire, water, Earth and electric attacks give you minus one cooldown. So if I just enchant this with fire, then it will be down to no cooldowns. My plans are obviously the best. Pegasus Meteor Attack is also good. Hit four times, six would have been nice. Zuku's dimension is also really nice because, yeah. Okay, I didn't even see the animation because the animation didn't show. I kind of want to take Patchouli out first. Now that I see, slash remember, that she does physical, or that she does multi-target magic. Uh, let's raise the accuracy and see if I can poison her. Not this time. No big deal. Wow. Maybe I should just target the one I don't want to target and I'll just get more hits on them. I mean, it tends to be the case, it seems. Bad. Oh, man. So, this could end a multitude of ways. My favorite way would be the way that I don't die. But, I guess we'll find out if I have that luxury. And, Slayer increases. Why I'm targeting her, I don't remember. Pegasus Meteor Attack is going to hit a lot. Slayer got boosted up. And that time it wasn't Slayer. Concentrate. Not a good thing. She is going to use a really powerful attack this turn. And there really isn't anything I can do to stop it. So how about I do something to cancel it out? She's a warrior, still. And... You know what, I'm gonna take Sakuya out first, forget it. Yeah, possessed by Phoenix. So, this two bomb spell card makes it to where I can take hits one time. So, if there is an attack that would kill me, I live one time. It's very situational, and I don't recommend just 
spamming it in the hopes that something good will happen. Just use it only when necessary. This is kind of nerve-wracking for me. Nice. Good. Bad. Okay, now this is all up to Moku now. I have to be able to get a last word. The thing is, I gave Moku... You know, I'll show you what I gave Moku after this fight is over, because I'm going to win just because of everything that's happened. After this, I will show you everything I have on Moku. No matter what they do, it's not going to kill me. Nothing they do will kill me. I have insured it. Why is she not doing doubles? Nothing. Okay, okay, Patchouli, you are getting really annoying. Quit standing there. Annoying. Like I said. Oh no, not Blade Murder. Philosopher's Stone, oh no, not Philosopher's Stone. So, the good news is... Phoenix Resurrection, because they're not going to use any charge attacks. The bad news is she concentrated again. That wasn't going to be the bad news, but... <laughs> Great fate. Concerned. Uh, illusionary dominance, because Fearless Wind God is gone. So doing that will be really helpful. And... Selfie should be gone soon. Like, really soon. Good. Dead. Like, everyone in my team is dead, except Moku. Oh, and randomly I live. Because why wouldn't she? Oh, oh, I didn't even notice Lethal live. I don't think so, at least. I don't see how it could, actually. You know what? There we go. I can even use my last word in Phoenix Resurrection and take them all out. I mean, I probably sped up so much for this fight, it's not even funny, except it probably is kind of funny. See, look how much health. She is so dead. You know what? I'll make sure Nitori kills her, because, yes. Why wouldn't Nitori kill her? There we go. That took a while. Slightly a while. Quote unquote quotations. Wait. Whatever. Whatever. There we go. I got my two members back. So I'm tempted to go to Bahava Agra next. But I don't know if it's a good idea. Uh, the fact that I have Patchouli is really good. The fact that I have Sakuya is really good. The fact that I have Moku is always good. Uh, where should I go next? I could... 
could go for this just because, but I uh, don't really think I should. Yakurin, mm, Yomu, Satori. Let's see. You know what? I'll go for Yomu. Yomu time it is. Here in the netherworld, we must stand. Don't know what that was about, but it's okay because everyone loves me anyways. That's not true, actually. The netherworld is where all of the treasures are, I believe. This area C, right up here. Cutting back. There, huh. Just right there, in the middle of there. B. Okay, I should hit now. I was expecting to at least hit itself with one of the- Oh, wow, a water crystal. Not just a water weenie crystal, no. It's a water crystal, not a water shard. A water crystal. Crystal. It's dead. An earth shard. No, electric shard, my bad. See? Electric shard, water, crystal. Crystal is better than shard, and here is a treasure just to prove. What is here? J. This is... There it is. J. The beginning of J, when you go to area... Go through area B. The death for all. Now I have to hold right and exit because there was an encounter coming for me. Or... What was the or? Uh, bad. Please just allow me to get either my last word or not die. Preferably both. I'm dead. Alright, let's try this again. This time with less of me using a formation that is not what I'm used to. See, that's the problem that I was having, is that I'm not used to that formation, so... I really just need to stick with what I know. I gotta stick with this formation. Kinotori Skydance. Man, those hits! Very nice! Zufu's Dimension. Gotta use Fire Crest. And then... Got to stall them out of being able to do stuff. Because I really don't like what Yomu was about to do. So I'm actually going to try and bring them down equally this time. I mean, go figure. Bringing them down equally, that's a good idea. Could've fooled me. You did fool me, actually, that's the problem. Yomu is going down pretty quickly. I mean, really, she's already halfway dead. That's pretty great, actually. Two more turns of a Sora. Let's do that, and Wind of Arrows, because I need the accuracy. Oh man, way to go, Lethos, you got that one hit. She is still really good at avoiding, and not taking damage, rather. Okay, Yomu is almost dead due to reasons that are unknown, obviously. And... Let's heal Lethos, I guess. I guess we can heal Lethos. Might as well, no big deal about it, I guess. If I have to. Man, that was just rude. 
I needed her. Well, at least I still got damage in. Now, you may have been noticing that... At least I think... I win. I win. Sorry, I, I cut myself off mid-sentence. You'll notice that... She is weak to Sakuya's attacks. This is because Sakuya's sword is naturally water. She's dead during time stop. This is odd, to say the least. <laughs> what was that? Just need to kill her now. Um, this game does not know what to do about what just happened. Either way, I can thank Sakuya for this win. Because Sakuya really was the one that got this for me. To be perfectly honest. And obvious. But yeah. The fact that Sakuya's sword was water, and they are both weak to water just helped and then just getting the last word to enhance her abilities like tenfold that was just perfect trying to resolve incidents is also interesting I guess but man Sakuya did a lot of damage really fast and then I don't even understand what that glitch part was all right, so that is going to do it for this part. First, I want to see what's on the incident board next. Uh, I could show this for now, but uh, I'll wait until later. I'll wait until some other time. I could show that too, but I have to level up a little bit more with Cherno. Something about being level 50-something. Actually, you know what? I am going to level up the members that are not really leveled up off-screen. So, until next time, I might record later today. Depends on how the editing goes. Because I feel like this could potentially be a short part. But also, it could potentially be a really long part. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what that was about, I, I apologize for that.